Good morning, good morning, welcome back to the channel. And I've got to welcome you here from a really, really special place today. This is such a beautiful area. Um, and well, welcome to Clidic Gorge, where in a few moments or a little bit later on in the vlog, I'm going to take you up to a really, really beautiful, beautiful waterfall. Now, I know I say that every week, but I think this one's kind of special. So I'll get trekking and get you out along the way for a chat and uh, tell you what else I'm here for because there is another reason I'm here again because I was here on Wednesday. So keep tuned and I'll let you know what that is in a minute. Already on my way up to the main falls with my son, I came across this the other day and look at it today, it's just as equally beautiful. I, th I think I'm going to have to watch what I do today because I'm going to get very distracted because oh, this is just cascade heaven right now. Absolutely stunning. Stunning. And it looks like we've, at the moment, we've got a perfect, perfect day. Overcast. I know it's still early. So there's cloud cover and there's not much breeze, which is a, a massive plus. So I think we're gonna have a search around this area where we are right now and probably get a few images before we move on. So uh, let's get hunting. Right, so we have found a lovely little composition. I didn't see this the other day, but we just trekked down a little bit, down the river, and uh, I think this is gonna be quite a nice image. So we're gonna get ourselves set up, and it was Mini Nubu spotted this, as I was busy talking to you guys up on the bank over there. He was down here searching out, so we'll both shoot this image. We'll get set up, talk you through it, but there's a lovely, lovely leading line here, and some, lov well, some really nice, features and characteristics which is going to make this a shot if it comes off. The only problem we've got in here today is it is really really dark. I've even got my little LED light on so that you see me a lot more clearer on, on, on the video. Um, so yeah give us five and we'll get you back on. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah. Yeah it's gonna be a good shot isn't it? Good shot. Right set up for the first shot and this looks really really nice on the back of the camera I just hope it comes out when we take the image so what we've got is this lovely lovely leading line from the bottom left hand side of the screen and it it kind of follows its way up and then there's a split in the river half it comes underneath the bridge which you can see just up there and the other one comes down there and what fascinates me is you've got these trees you've got these root systems and these rocks covered in moss but not only that, I'm amazed that over the years, thousands, millions of years, whatever it is, that this humble river, okay, it become a torrent when there's more water in it, has carved its way just around that mound in the middle. But archaeology over. Let's get on with the shot. So that's what I'm looking at. This leading line in for left hand side. Smooth it out a little bit. Usual F11. And then it all comes down to post-processing, you know, which I love very much, just to finish the shot off. So let's see if we can get one in the bag. Um, it's still, there's some lovely colours around. So let's shoot it. That's looking quite nice, quite nice. I'll have to take a couple more shots just to, you see the blink is there everybody? Got a little bit of uh, overexposure, so I'll drop that a bit. But at the moment I've got four seconds, so I'll probably take it to two seconds, even go for a one second just for the water. At the moment it's still, so those will keep the leaves still as well. So again, as usual, this shot is probably gonna made up about two or three images to make sure I'm sharp from back to front. I hope you enjoy it. 
and uh, I'll put it for you guys to view right now. Hope you enjoyed those shots I just put up and uh, I can now bring you into uh, the other reason why I'm here this morning as well as to take lovely images is as you could probably see and you're all looking at my nice new bobble hat today well when I was here the other day I lost my favorite bobble hat and well I'm retracing my steps to see if I can find it. If I do, I'll be really stoked because that bob hat has been with me for years. Kind of sad, really. Yeah, you know, like, a bit like a kid when you lose your favorite teddy. Still, I'm on the lookout for it, so see if we can find it. And I thought, sod's law, you know what I mean? So I thought if I buy myself a new hat, I'll find the old one. So stay tuned to see, see if sod's law prevails. Right, I'm just going to talk you through this composition, this composition I love because the many features in it all the way down the left hand side up here you've got the already fallen beech leaves and then this canopy which comes over the top of these of the branches of the beech is kind of like it hugs it and gives it you know a sense of a warmth of enclosure uh, this also is I just love the way the cascades move up to the back and the way this is going to be edited is I'm going to warm up the colours, uh, add a bit, of, a bit of mood and a bit of drama to it, so I think this is going to be really excellent. But the main thing on setting the shot up I found was these rocks just here, they've got to be in the centre of this composition, otherwise it just didn't work. You saw me setting up, but I did have to move the tripod two or three times. As soon as it became central, it finished the image off. So I'm going to fire away and let you see what this is going to look like. But I, th I think I've got... I've got high hopes for this one, high hopes. Finally made our way up and just behind me now as I pan round, should be able to see the viaduct. Absolutely incredible structure. So what we've got to do is just go up this path along the viaduct down the side and a bit of a scramble down into the bottom down there then we should find some uh, lovely composition i know there's a great waterfall because i saw it the other day it's absolutely fantastic so give us a few minutes and we'll be there but while we're there i just think it's interesting to know i just i'm amazed when you look at these old structures you know we're probably built in the industrial age whatever but 
I'm enamoured, you know, and total honour for those people, the men and probably women who served to build these viaducts, you know, I think this one was used for a railway, maybe for the limestone mines which are around here, but absolutely, absolutely phenomenal, look at that, look at that. And one thing I do find is when you get places like this, forever stuck for directions, Locals, another tip, locals are the key. I spoke to one gentleman the other day, lovely old guy. 20, 30 minutes, I, could, I couldn't get rid of him. But he was the one who said, this path, that path, that path, go here. Then start talking about the limestone works and how the lorries used to come down the hill with 10 tons of stone on. And, you know, sometimes it's good to one of those old people with the time of day. They really, really appreciate it, but they're a wealth of knowledge. So if you want to know anything, speak to the locals. And we have finally arrived down in the bottom of the gorge, just underneath the viaduct, which is just up there. It's absolutely stunning down there, absolutely, oh, it's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. I mean, you've know, just uh, finding this composition when we're ready. Just look at those leaves now, they're nearly, nearly there. Couple of weeks, couple of weeks or so, and this place will be red. Hope you like the last images anyway from the last uh, waterfall. Right, as you can probably hear by me, we are down now in the bottom of the gorge just below the beautiful viaduct. And look, doesn't get much better than this, does it? Doesn't get much better than this. So, uh, gonna look for a couple of compositions. There's gonna be loads, I know, but probably perhaps two or three max. And then uh, you can give me a verdict in what they look like, but. So far, the sun is just below the viaduct, which is going to be really helpful. A little bit of wind, but I think we can deal with that if we just wait. So, uh, yeah, look at it, man. Unbelievable. Finally settled on our composition for this one. What I really want is the structure to be really, really strong in the background. Uh, the waterfall to right hand third on the right hand side and I can already envisage that this if it if it comes off in the edit is going to be really really worthwhile so as usual I'm not going to bore with all the details the usual aperture those kind of things polarizer on for the glare etc etc I'm going to quickly take the shot um, as there's not much wind at this very moment yeah right looking nice through the viewfinder it really is Really nice. That'll do, that'll do. What I'll do now is I'll just take the other images like I normally do to make sure I'm front to back, etc, etc. And then, I think, I might just zoom out a little bit here and take a shot of this cascade with the one in the rear. And then I'm going to head up just onto that top ledge up there. You can see that thing, it looks like a seat. Absolutely incredible. And what I want to do there is I want to get low down. I like the rocks because there's a lot of mess in here. I want to get those rocks in the, as foreground interest with a waterfall prominent behind it. So I think that will be my next shot. Excellent, right, let's get over there. position for the shot I explained over there. I hope you liked the uh, the other images I put up. 
another tip for you is what I find if you look in the first image that actually the top of the viaduct I chopped it off at the top of the image now sometimes it's great to leave things that the viewer doesn't see all of it it kind of adds to the picture more than take it away so I'll show you even with this image now I'm just going to obviously the foreground interest is absolutely beautiful the colors in these rocks will come out outstanding as long as I get the correct exposure on the waterfall things are looking really good but what I am going to do at the top of the waterfall is I'm just going to give the viewer a hint of the viaduct wall nothing else and you'll find that when you shoot images like that with just a hint of something there it asks questions rather than tell the viewer what it really is it's kind of like a subconscious kind of thing Again with this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two shots because this foreground is so close to the lens that I really do need that to be really, really sharp. So I'll take that image of that and then I'll, I'll focus on the back of the waterfall wall, probably up on those ferns there which have blown about in the wind. Well, it's not the wind, I think it's the actual the breeze coming off the waterfall. So that's what I'll do and then I'll blend them both together in Photoshop. And, uh, should make for a really, really tidy image. See how we're looking. Oh, I like that. I like that. Also, always remember, go in, check. Check your details good, because nothing worse than coming away from a shoot, find your images are crap. Yeah, like that. And I hope you will too. I'll stick it up to you right now. Mini noob now, just composing the same shot. I think he liked it. Are you going to steal my image? Actually, no. Bless him. Really proud of him. Doing really well. As well as my image of this one, I'll, I'll put his up as well, just so you can just see how he's getting on. Superb job. So good though to be out. Not just by yourself, but with other people, and especially family. Especially with just next to this spectacular waterfall. It's brilliant. Right. Stop the waffling, I'll put his image up. Well guys, again, I'm sorry if that comes to the end of our time today from the Hiddick Gorge in Wales. What a fantastic day we've had and what an amazing, amazing time I've had with my son here taking images. I hope you've enjoyed all the images. If there's anything you like about a certain image or your favorite, just drop it in the comments below. And if you find that any of this information which I've given you today or any of the tips or anything I spoke about has given you any, any help um, towards your photography in any way then it would be nice if you would subscribe and also give the video a like it really means a lot and also if you're on Facebook hey share the video that'd be really really appreciated but until next time guys you know what's coming now look after yourselves and take care but oh I didn't find my bobble at so sod's law doesn't work <laughs>